Hello you bunch of tankers and welcome back to the channel today we are out in the tier 7 Leo that's right the STRV 74 is gathering dust in the garage um, this game is a tier 9 game I am only on the second package and we are on possibly the worst map in World of Tanks console in my opinion I really really dislike this map um, blah, blah, blah. who cares hmm? so yeah Second package, we're bottom tier, we're on a terrible map. It doesn't sound good, does it? But, if it turns out, it was. Very good, in fact. Um, very surprised I managed to pull this game out. Excuse the little snippet of uh, me humping a wall there. I'm not quite sure what I was doing. I think I put some toast in the toaster or something It was burning. I can't remember. Anywho, right, on to the game. So, first thing we come across, T95E2. And I do auto-aim it because I'm a massive scrub lord. Just like always. But we aim in and we go for his lower plate. And we bounce off the upper plate anyway. So I may as well have just auto aim the second shot as well. And it probably would have gone in. Well, fortunately, he managed to miss the shot on his upper plate. Uh, sorry, his engine deck as he managed to dip behind cover. But hey, you know what? I don't mind. Now, I just want to be careful because I know where I want to go to. I pretty much want to go to where he was. And luckily, that Conqueror takes him down for me. Now, there's a nice little hump just here where all the trees are on my left. Uh, as you can see, F4. Now, 7 and 8 lines pretty much empty. Um, it looks like most of their forces have been bogged down, really, and they are stuck on the 1, 2, and 3 line, which is nice, because that gives me a chance to flank. And this tank is very, very good at flanking. A lot of people told me I would enjoy this because it plays like a Comet, and they are absolutely right. The playstyle is identical, the little pop gun's the same. Um, the only difference is the turret's a bit bigger, it's not got as much gun depression, and the mantlet hasn't bounced anything yet, whereas I have had, with the Comet, quite a few bounces at times. So like I say, we're flanking on the edges. We are up the front with the big boys, but we are flanking on the edges, and utilising bushes, cover, and my excellent crew. And there is an excellent crew, which I haven't paid for, I have earned. So, you know, I want to use them. Like I said, we're just biding our time here. Now, here I do something that I always preach about but never do. I get spotted, I move back. When I go back up the hill, I move to a different position. Now, you've seen in my videos before, I usually peek the same spot, which is just a massive, massive no-no. It's pointless peeking the same spot because there's a good chance that they're still looking where you were before. Boom! Lucky shot through a tier 9 heavy tank. Straight through his driver wheel. Happy days, we managed to take him down. RNG says no, and we dip low on the 5120, but then we get a nice high sort of uh, a shot, which somehow curves into uh, his Capola. Bloody lovely. Now we are being aimed at, and the artillery has just taken a pot shot, so we've got to be careful what we do here. There is a 705 crossing towards the, uh, the beach area, so we managed to get a nice tracking shot into him. I've got to be careful of that big gun, and I really don't want him being able to get hold down either. So we keep firing the standard rounds, none of them really working, RNG not rolling very well for me right now, and his spaced armour soaking it all up. So we switch to the premium and we get one through the rear end of him. Unfortunately, all the rest of the shots don't have enough explosive charge in them, so they all dip low and hit the rock. Apart from the last one, where it makes up for it and we retrack him. Managed to hit a rock again. And there we go, the last shot. That is a second tier 9 heavy out of the game with three kills. And we've managed to get a nice 30, 1,323 damage so far. Now our friendly TD, I think it's a T25 AT. Um, he is up, stuck on his own trying to guard the beach and trying to make sure our artillery doesn't get taken out. Now just over here is a KV-13, a Lycan and a T-54 lightweight. And the worst thing that can happen when you go to help someone, he gets taken out. I slip on the buttery rocks, because we all know that they're covered in butter and oil. Um, which leaves me in the same position he was a minute ago. I'm a lone tank against three. Fortunately, artillery puts a really nice shot into the KV-13. That's one less tank to deal with now. Puts us on four kills as well. But beware of the YOLO lights, boys and girls. There's one. A tier 9 T-54 lightweight comes in, goes for the ramp, manages to take some hit points off me, but we manage to take another tier 9 tank down as he gets tracked by our friendly. Doesn't get much better though, we've now got a Lycan, the overpowered light tank circling us, and the T-49 comes in to 
absolutely wreck him and show me some mercy. You won't believe how happy I was when that T-49 came in. He must have seen what was going on on the map and he sprinted across and absolutely saved my arse hugely. Really, really saved my arse. Big thank you, massive shout out to him. Thank you so much. So now that's dealt with, we want to get back into the action. It's still a close game, it's 10-9. One of their arties has gone down, but their next arty is a, a tier 8 Lorraine. And, I'm, you know, I'm always concerned about having big arties in game because they hurt when they hit. You know, like I say, they funneled themselves in, but unfortunately, all we've got left over there is a Conqueror, and he is getting circled himself. So I want to take down this artillery before he can take our Conqueror down, because that's the concern that I've got right now. That Conqueror is up front, and he is fighting hard. The last thing I need is that artillery to take away his good gate. Puts us on a top gun as well, and leaves us with just an IS-2M to play with. I know the Conqueror's got him licked. That Conqueror's got two uh, MOEs on his barrel as well, so he's definitely a good player. But I go in there, sneaky little kill steal at the end. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sneaky little kill steal. But it does put us on a Devastator. 2,390 damage and 2332 assist. Like I say, going into it, not very nice. Bad map, bad matchmaking, not fully upgraded. But we came out of it, absolutely smashed it, I'll be honest with you. We get the Ace Tanker, we get a Devastator, an Oskins, and a Top Gun. Like I say, 2,390 damage, 2,332 assist, top of the board. Yeah. Absolutely jumping for joy when I had that game. I was very, very impressed in myself. Um, so thank you for watching that, guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. Let me know what I'm doing right and wrong. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll get notified when my content goes up. So that's all for today. I will uh, hopefully catch you soon. I'll see you in the next video.